guys got the pulse width module installed in the box and fully functional got me a new brass cap all machined up um, screwed up the air holes but uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about it now um, they're functional they're just not quite in line with each other this side is just uh, not even a sixteenth of an inch lower than this side um, I just wanted to get them in there and get it done so I could use it and uh, you know how it goes when you rush crap. But anyways, <clears throat> got dual coil 18 gauge 316L. It's roll pressed flat. Um, four wraps on a 964. I have not checked the ohms. Um, as a matter of fact, I haven't even checked the wattage that I'm running it at because I am uh, constantly adjusting it, um, which is fantastic. That is has to be the best thing I've ever done to make a pulse width module that just brings a whole new level to being able to adjust it just like you like I get all the power of an unregulated box and uh, way more um, fine tuning than any kind of regulated device that I've used before um, I have no idea what this is set at right now but this is right about where I've been vaping it and I'm sure you can hear the pulsing. That is the MOSFET cycling on and off. And I have noticed that the lower resistance that I build, the more audible that pulse is. Um, I'm sure it's probably not good for the MOSFET, um, though the uh, pulse that this pulse width module is putting out is about 140 hertz. It's what it should be putting out. I haven't had a chance to test it. Um, but the MOSFET's rated for way above that. It's rated for, I don't know how many, 100,000 hertz. But anyways, um, we'll turn it up a little bit just to show you. I do like listening to it change tones like that. Mix me up some uh, sour blueberry gummy bears. And uh, they're actually pretty good. Let's see where I want. About right there. Mmm. Mmm. And, um,. I really feel bad because I meant to uh, write it down so I would remember. I don't remember which one of you um, commented, I think it was actually just yesterday, about uh, how the tanks must feel anemic. Even a really good sub-tank must feel anemic after using this. And it does. I used it almost solely for the time that I spent um, revamping this box. And um, I don't want it now. It's uh, Now that I've got this back where I like it, There's, it's pointless. It's actually not quite warm enough. Much better. So I noticed with this yesterday, I um, <clears throat> got some 22 gauge Nichrome 80 out and uh, did a dual coil 12 wraps on a 964 spit, same one I used on this. Um, wrapped them nice and tight, got everything just like I liked it and uh, went to start uh, dry firing it to uh, work all the coils in place. And um, I started arcing between the uh, between the wraps, and uh, as I turned the voltage up, it actually jumped across. I actually had little tiny hot spots where the arc was jumping between wraps to separate wraps, um, and I was unable to get those to work. I actually had to wrap them spaced, a uh, separate set of coils spaced out, and actually leave the spaces in them to prevent it from arcing. And I don't know if that's just because this is cycling too slow, um, if the pulses are too spaced out for it to work properly. I don't know. Um, I do know that attempting to actually make it where it would arc is uh, I was unsuccessful in making it arc in a way that I could use the arc to vape. I am going to do that. I am going to vape off of an electrical arc at some point. But this is not going to do it. I do like the hum. I can feel the box vibrating when I do that. 
It's very entertaining. Mmm. Taste is phenomenal. But anyways, let's vape it. Fantastic. Just for shits and giggles here real quick. Dig out my extremely worn out, poor old cheap Walmart voltmeter. And of course it turned back off again. It's just about gone. It's just on its last legs. <clears throat> See if I can set it up where you can see it. And of course, it's jumping all over the freaking place. Okay. Let's see what voltage I got going here. Is that right? Of course, I dumped it off on the floor. <laughs> Well, that's reading 0.85 volts. That can't be right. Apparently, this can't read the pulse width. I haven't attempted it yet. Let's try a different setting. Nope. Voltmeter's trash. No good. Um, <clears throat> I had a similar issue with our digital fluke meter at work and um, I had to use an analog voltmeter to read the voltage um, probably yet again because it's not pulsing fast enough uh, but yeah it's working flawlessly um, Next step is to uh, get me an Arduino board I can plug into the computer to uh, program the little IC chips and um, attempt to make a programmable pulse width module that will let me adjust not just the uh, width of the pulses but the number of pulses so I can actually fine tune everything just where I want it. Um, yes, that will require two um, potentiometers. I will not go with this large potentiometer again when I do that. I'll use the small circuit mounted ones, uh, board mounted potentiometers. Um, but, that's just fluid. It is working extremely well. I am very pleased. Let's see. Nope. I don't have my good screwdriver out here. I was going to pull it out and show you the guts. I think I have one that'll work. That'll do the trick. Okay. Got my big 5000 milliamp hour 3 series LiPo. And uh, there's the little pulse width chip right there, just the 555 timer and like six other components, seven other components. And then up in there is my MOSFET. It is a, uh, uh, it's not a TO220 package MOSFET either. It's actually quite a bit larger physically. Um, it's rated for 20 amps, or 20 volts at 180 amps, I'm sorry, um, is the maximum that it's designed for. Um, so it could handle way more than I could ever put to it with what I have here. My cap's starting to get a little warm. 
This is the first one that I've made where the drip tip is part of the cap. Um, every other one I've used the turbo cap fan adapter to mount the tip and it's done an excellent job of uh, being a semi insulator. Well this is not insulated and it's getting hot. But it works great. <clears throat> um, it's the entire diagram right there. That's all of it. MOSFET, 555 chip, potentiometer, um, and just a couple of uh, capacitors and diodes. Um, I think I have two or three resistors on there. One, two, yeah. I only have two resistors on the diagram. So yeah, there is very, very, very little to it. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, <coughs> ooh, <coughs> feel free to ask. I'm going to have to make me a nylon insulator for this thing. That's getting hot. But, uh, <coughs> hope you guys enjoyed and vape on.